Hello everyone, welcome back to another game of Civilization VI, this time happening in the land of Westeros as Rhaegar Targaryen, <laughs> Lord of the Crown Lands, defends his empire from uprising kings. Joined with me is one of those kings, Duncan. Hello, I <laughs> am Eddard Stark of Danorth. <laughs> Okay. Done off. <laughs> it's cold, it's frozen, but apparently sugar and rice are you up get, there. And oranges. Sugar, rice and oranges. <laughs> Good lord. You know, all those things that classically grow uh, in the cold and tundra of the Danorf. 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 Who else is Dan. playing with us today? I am Hoster Tollery of the Riverlands, and I have started in a really choke point heavy place between two mountain chains. So far, I only see Mercury in terms of luxury. You so might hold the, the neck, it's called, between yeah, the north I think that's and the, the south. I have the neck. Ah, you, yeah. need, you need to make twin cities then. Lord Do you of want the to know yeah, the special, so, yeah. special bonus of his twin cities? They work as if they're giant aqueducts and fort simultaneously. They provide huge yields, but if he loses them and they get pillaged, his entire city rebels the following turn. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. So you have a special, unique thing that, that you do. Because I have a dragon pit. As, a, as the Targaryens, I have this dragon pit, mm. which I'm hoping to one day build. Um, so you're the Lannister, Spiff. I'm the Lannister, yes. I have I am Mr. Money Man and Mr. Fight Man all rolled up into one. I've spawned next to uh, two sets of diamonds. So we are going to be rolling in it Lovely. almost immediately. I am noticing Lewis started with 100 gold. Did the rest of you guys start with 100 gold? Uh, <laughs> nope. Five is what I started <laughs> with. I'm, I am wondering what speed you put this on, Vivian. Well, online? Um, this is yeah? online. Yeah, okay. it's 250 turns, so it's online. Okay. In that case, I just have no production. <laughs> In your starting <laughs> city. <laughs> yeah, that is a common thing to have happen. I mean, you are in Tundra Wasteland in the frozen north. True. But yeah. I, should get, I get production hmm. from Tundra. Well, you probably want to start working that for food tile, though. So you will Hang have on. low production. Where's all the fucking... What are, you, what are you doing? I want to see the yields and all that crap. Click on the uh, little... Uh, there you go, yields. No, not that one. Um, pin. Uh, there you go. Yeah, that one. And Dow Toss, what are you doing? Hello, I am John Aaron. I Hi, John. am of the Vale. I <laughs> like John. to send people down to King's Landing if you want to delegate. John, Aaron the Death? Are you talking I, about I the, the kid one? John. No, John Aaron's the dad who got poisoned. Did Remember? He? Yeah, he sets off the entire storyline. Yeah. yeah, that's what his He's voice like, sounded yeah. like. It was very. Like, well, he was friends of Eddard, right? Like, real good friends. Yeah. He was uh, basically Eddard's foster dad. Yeah. yeah. Aaron basically raised both Robert and uh, Eddard. Yeah. Okay. So hang on a second. So no one's in the south at all. Uh right. There's no Mesa, there's no Dorn. There is, of course, the special thing. There's the AI. The AI. <laughs> yeah. There is oh, one AI down Baratheon there AI that will colonize the, the entire Southlands. What did Robert Baratheon oh, right. I, come from? I don't see him in the at the top though. I only see five question marks. Where is he? Like there. where's Storm's End? Is that his, is that his, yeah. We, his we house, actually have yeah. to discover him because he's not a player. So oh, once we course. meet him, he'll yeah. appear on the top. And he's Dragonstone as well is the fortress in the sea, which yeah. he claims as well. Oh, the storm yeah. yeah. Okay. <gasps> High heart. Yeah, true. Wow, this if map I would have settled my city one to the left. Feels pretty big. Oh, I've met some wildlings. Uh-huh. The wildlings are invading Winterfell, guys, already. <laughs> oh, <dear>. Turn one. <laughs> <laughs> Fight him off. He's got a dire wolf. Tame it. So, do you reckon they've put a list of city names in for the for the cities? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I've yeah. yeah, got cool. Winterfell. Yeah, I've got River Run. I mean, for like it the really second, when we settle the second one. one yeah. yeah. Or is it going to just be called? Like, is it just going to be called like London and yeah. <laughs> whatever <laughs> they've ripped off? <laughs> I'm so worried. This map is going to be like unbelievably gigantic. First person to get a golden age and spews out settlers with yeah. faith wins. I just want to raise Winterfell. It's just, last time we picked Tiny, literally like Duncan and Lewis Settler started next to each other. So I am yeah. remembering that when I pick map sizes. I don't sizes. think there's actually a map size uh, affects this map. I think it's just, yeah. this is the map. Maybe. Yeah. And the map size, just how many players you can have in it. I imagine so if it's true start locations. It might yeah. just be the biggest one we've ever done. And if that's the case, that's quite fun. That's fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm in to experience it. Okay, so you have to name your cities appropriately where they are on yes. the Game of Thrones. Yeah, of course. Really? 
world, yeah. Thank God, I'm going to have to open up a map then. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> I can't remember anything in the veil. There's the eerie, and then there's... That's it. There's nothing uh, else. <laughs> <laughs> That's just eerie. Well, I want to find the wall. I'm going to send my guys north. I want to find the wall. Is it, I'm guessing it's just going to be a line of mountains, right? <laughs> it's not going to be anything too exciting. Maybe they modeled it. Maybe. What's this global relations thing? Yeah, that's a new thing. It's the so new that's, diplomacy that's map. That's the mod that Potato mm. recommended. Being it's stored. really, really useful when you're playing against the AI. Less so against us. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, but it's still interesting. <laughs> There's so much space. Mm. Oh, this is going to be an absolute disaster of a game. What? <laughs> Can we uh, uh, let's make a rule? If you run out of city names that are pre-programmed, you can't make any more cities. Right. What? <laughs> How do you oh, tell? Until you've placed the city. Yeah. How do you, you tell? Get, you get one. You get one extra because you have to place. Okay. I like how this okay. is going to. This is going to curse Duncan the most because Duncan doesn't know. Possibly. But his his special ability is that he can shit out sit, uh, settlers with faith. <laughs> well, I hope they've programmed a lot of cities then. <laughs> we should also do like a swear jar every time we complain 25 cents in and at the end we buy ourselves a pizza party <laughs> yay pizza party oh no Winterfell's had tornadoes <laughs> oh yes oh, boy. Yeah, you know. classic tornadoes of Winterfell <laughs> there they go again oh shit what the crown lands may not produce settlers the song of ice and fire and tornadoes <laughs> what crown on lands can make settlers <gasps> That sounds like my type of sim. I can't even make settlers. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> You're on this giant map. I you like can't it. make anything. You're plain Venice. <laughs> Wait, so what does your sim do? 100% loyalty pressure. Oh, no. Oh, so you with full cities. loyalty yield 25% extra science, culture, and faith. He's May super aquitaine. Settlers. settlers captured or obtained with any other method will turn into builders. Huh. So he has to. He has to, to fight cities. us, right? A, and then he aquitains us at the same time. You're going to be the most annoying Civ we've ever played against. I have to fight. I think you? that's quite fun. Okay, sure. <laughs> Fucking hell, what? <laughs> what? So I'm playing the Venice. I thought really was playing the Venice. You're playing. No, you, you kind of like yeah. fight Venice, which is I kind can of Venice. Ex- yeah, fight Venice. I like it. Right, I found a barb camp. Ah, yes. Golf of a cobbler? Golf of This can't be right. This, I think we're getting the auto naming scheme when you find like a river. Or hey, a- I killed a unit with a slinger. I get a bonus to archery. That's rare. So I make, I, my unique district is a godswood. Unique New York. Unique New York. So it gets. What does it replace? Extra, uh, the holy site. And it gets extra faith. From forests around it. That's nice. I can't build settlers. Oh, look, it's got a tree in it. This is terrible. Lewis, Lewis, the real Lewis, the real way your civ is meant to be played is you're meant to conquer a city, and then when you conquer the, your first opponent's city, the loyalty pressure should stop flipping their other cities. That's how it works. And in order to help you with that, you have one mega city. Mega city. Right. Okay, so I have one and then mega city, each, and then each I, city you capture then becomes a mega city when it hits one hundred percent loyalty. Mega city. So mega you, you city. have a very powerful sieve. You just don't know it. I believe you. So I get a bunch of faith as my guy, do I? Yeah, you're a faith dude, and you're you can buy civilian units using faith, which is very powerful. Oh, I can get. I've I've just found a goodie hut that gave me faith, so I can pick up a pantheon next turn. There we go. Very Fucking nice. early civ. Here we go. Early settler rush. <laughs> I've already got a pantheon. Did you get the pantheon that gives you the free settler? I can't find it. The completely reasonable. Did they maybe remove it? I know. There it is. Got Did it. you pick? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you can't not pick that. It's it's I good. should have said nothing. I really should have said nothing. What, what do you mean? I was picking it while you said it. Of course I was yeah. going to pick that first. It's the best one. That's, that's the only one we know, too. <laughs> I don't know what the other ones do. The other ones are... Um, the other ones are okay. Like, if you're in a really good spot, some of them are crazy good. Oh, I have met Lewis of the Crownlands. Hello. Is that you, Rithian? Yes. Okay. I am River Run. It's not really much of a neck. <laughs> I'm just in the middle of some mountains there, really. More separating the west from the east than the north from the south. By the way, um, 
I'm not excited about uh, Lewis having just realized that the wait for him to win is to conquer, and then I'm the first one he sees. Oh, yeah, you're fine. That's not... Yes, yeah, no, that's super great. There's always Loop Hero. You could play that. There's a, yeah, I'll just load up some Hades. It's fine. Mm. Oh, Loop Hero is really good fun. I'd be really enjoying it. so much fun, yeah. Have you created an infinite loop yet? No, how do you do it? Oh, I just put villages on every single tile of the map. I, I was thinking about that. I'm and like, then what would oblivioned happen? all of the thieves. <laughs> <laughs> what would happen if I just had nothing but buffs on my, on my thing? That's cool. You can tinker like that, and I really like it. It reminds really me a lot fun. of... It's like a combination of a few games. Did you say you had like uh, oranges uh, or citrus, rice, and sugar, Duncan? And you're starting mm -hmm. here? Yeah. Yeah, I had mercury. That's it. Wow. That's all I had. <laughs> I mean, rice is only a bonus resource. Yeah, but still, that's two mm. versus my one. That's a hundred percent increase, Duncan. A hundred. I have three. Well, he has got tundra that's though. Two hundred. So I was just starting tundra, yeah. which isn't the best. Yeah, I imagine it. Like, uh, but I, I said it on legendary and not balanced. So like, legendary is good fun. Changes. You gotta have yeah. legendary starts just for the uh, chance that someone rolls. I would have thought they would have put a like it natural would've, one. Wouldn't have mattered though, right? Would just yeah. In true start, I imagine it would have mm. been, but uh, I mean, maybe not. So oh, Delsos, the veil. I've discovered you. Yes, you have. But you know, Rivian is much more <laughs> alluring. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mister, he can buy out any city state he likes, man. Yeah. I haven't even found a city state yet. That's the problem. Uh, I'll be fine. You'll get him soon enough. You should buy out King's Landing. <laughs> yeah. You're mine now. <laughs> <laughs> well, like that laugh. Quit your cackling. Mm -hmm. Well, what am I doing here? Do I cut all these down? Do I cut all of these down? Chop. You know, Potato would chop them. He'd get, he's get his chop governor on him, and he'd start chopping. That's absolutely what he would <sighs> do. Okay. I have chop gov. Chop, chop. R Robert Baratheon and Deltos have asked for a delegation. Oh, my God. Look at Baratheon. Oh, my, oh my God. God. He looks so... That's a chat. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a guy. I wish I was him. And then there's just Goblin Man. The, <laughs> the difference is very noticeable. It is, isn't it? <laughs> I love Goblin Man, though. They just don't seem to... Their eyes are just so odd. and like They're made in Unity, I think. <laughs> it's the eyes that <laughs> are the weirdest mi bit. No, this is Mixer. This is definitely Mixer. It's like everyone's had a very... They've been very badly burned. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like horrible burn victims. Right? Yeah, it kind of looks like that. It's like a plastic action figure, isn't it? Yeah, with like smooth skin. My guy, my guy actually looks exactly like Monty Burns because his teeth overhang. He's got like the overbite. <laughs> a young Montgomery Burns. Yeah. They just look like RuneScape characters to me. <laughs> they do actually, don't they? Oh, hi, Lewis. Hi, mm, da, 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 da. I'm just going to plop this settler down. Um. <laughs> oh, my God. I found Spiff. He's settling. He's doing a settle. I need to build this district, but I don't want to build it on this forest. Because it destroys the forest. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, the map's not actually too bad from exploring a bunch. It's not too bad. It's bloody fine. I'm loving it. <laughs> not too bad. <laughs> it's absolutely vast. <laughs> Nothing, um, nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Big chunky mass. This, this is of empty Spiff. space as far as yeah, the eye can I'm see. I'm gonna have like 14 cities, man. This is nothing huge. wrong with having. If everyone has 14 cities, no. Remember, there's a rule on how many cities you can have based on how many names. I know. I'm, I'm wondering how many I'm gonna mm. find. I've got the city of Ashmark. That's like a Game of Thrones name, right? That's ah uh, yes, actually. Cool. Good. My second one is called the Dreadfort. Yes, that's Ramsey Bolton. Mm. Or the Boltons, rather. Not just Ramsey. Michael Bolton. Michael Bolton is the greatest. So I've built the um, dragon pit. It's kind oh, of yeah. like a golden... It's like a hat. It looks like a, a Pope's hat. <laughs> oh, mm. <laughs> it's that's cute. a cool looking hat. And it's got aircraft stationed here, which doesn't bode well for the idea dragons. of dragons. Yeah. It really doesn't. I mean, it perfectly bodes well. Well, can, there'll be like an aircraft dragon. How far can they go, though? I was thinking it was a dragon that I could slowly walk across the map and eat 
you with. Oh, I see. But now I'm concerned it's only got a range of six tiles or whatever. Well, <laughs> well, it does make your city pretty much impossible to attack for quite a while. The problem is it said that, that the um, mighty ancient air units unique to the crown lands. Unlocks oh, may only purchase with faith and extremely expensive to maintain. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you got to feed them. And what do dragons mm-hmm. eat? Whatever they want. I'm pretty excited mm. by the fact that in like 50 turns time or 70 turns time, it's going to be dragons fighting anti-aircraft guns from the World War Two era. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Nice. Okay. Well, let's try, let's try it. I'm excited to find out what happens. Ah, finally, I have a governor. <laughs> governor. I never knew who to pick. Always go with, Magnus just, just or go with Pingala, Pingala usually. Yeah, that's what I do. Pick Grand Maester Purcell. Ooh. Oh, they should have yeah. made new governors. Grand Maester yeah. piss off. The other Ooh. one had new governors, but oh. that one that one stopped being updated in My 2019. One doesn't work anymore. Fucks. God damn. Stop attacking me. Oh, for God yeah, I have so many barbs. Same. It's like actually being in the mountain clans or something. I hate the barbs. Not, there's not enough bitches. tundra, honestly. I thought there would be more tundra. So, you, would you want more tundra? Well, my scouts are really good in tundra, but then. So, you want your entire game to be bad based around your well, scouts get, being good? No, because I get production, culture, and food from tundra tiles, so it wouldn't be that bad. Like, those tundra tiles are fucking epic. Look at yeah. this. Okay, they are actually pretty, pretty spicy. <laughs> it's actually yeah, that's really very, good. Very yeah, very good. Especially yeah, the I, gym I, 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 was, I would draw. <laughs> I take it You're back. correct. Yeah. So a dragon costs eight gold per turn. Ouch. Has a very high melee strength and four range strength and movement four. So is it is it an air unit or not? Movement four. I'm gonna I guess I'm just gonna have to buy one and then if it's fucking terrible, just <laughs> delete it. Just deal with it, yeah. <laughs> sure. Well, it does. It does sound like an air unit to me, but I know how aircraft work in this game, and it's. I don't really actually. I don't really know how aircraft work in this game. How it do aircraft work? It does have forty-eight game? range strength and four range, which does make it an insane. Oh no. Ranged weapon, you know. So if if it only has movement of four, then that means it could ah! technically attack something four eight tiles away. Making religion in a turn is not enough time. <laughs> Yes, Spiff. Mm. I guess it makes my governor choices really simple as well playing this. I get Pingala. Yeah, I yeah just stack the modifiers, go Pingala. I guess I'm going to Pingala then. I don't know. I never know what to pick on the religion. Mm. Actually, no, there might be a there might be an argument for you to go for the um, uh, Amani and then just do loyalty pressure, right? Yeah. Every time I get to the religion screen, I panic mm. because I immediately start hearing ding, yeah. Ding, yeah. ding in my mind. Like, uh, uh, don't, don't think too long. Uh, well, Duncan, click, yeah. Duncan's used Every two time. turns so far. To I know. I still can't. I, can't, I mean, I just <laughs> never know what to pick. Building a religion is, yeah, the, I, is the worst thing in this game. It sucks. It is, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, I just pick two random things and I just rip it. But I also lose a lot. So, <laughs> I suppose, yeah. Are you, are you losing two Duncan, turns? Duncan, what are you do? doing? <laughs> he might be on three turns I now. I click this again. Oh, no. his so you look one. at it, and it's making me pick it again. There's no back button. This makes the, me feel great. The I production adjacency one is amazing, Duncan. I'd go for that's that. What, that's what I had before, and then I picked another one, and then the turn to everyone, I clicked on this again, and then it made me pick it again, and I couldn't find it in time. Oh, no. Um, I don't know what about the second one, though. I guess it's like tired is decent, I guess. Oh, Dark Age. I Dark Age the first age. Jesus Christ. That's what oh, you want. Dear. That's what you want. That's the you dream. Want that? Yes, oh. absolutely. You want that. Oh, because the, the, the policy really good or something? Uh, no, because then you can go from a Dark Age to a Heroic Age, remember? Ah. If you Golden Age too early, you can't make a use of any of the good, good things. Oh, Golden Age. Are there three city states in this game? I found one so far. There's supposed to be at least seven, I think. 
Right. Have I just seen that? Where does it say where you've met them? Where's the seat state tracker? Uh, the there's a button. the The second button from the left at the top. City states. My button's not there. My button's fallen off. What are you talking about? I ain't got no city state button. <laughs> Maybe you can't do city states. I've met one, Maybe. but huh. I can't talk to it. Maybe uh, the dragon does not concern himself with the opinion maybe, of lambs. Maybe nah. next turn. Maybe next turn. Maybe I haven't met any yet, so I haven't officially haven't met any, so I can't look at the button. Okay, that's weird. Before anyone has said something, I know that quote wasn't the one in the show and the books. Yeah, you should feel books. horrible about yourself yeah, for misquoting no, that. I, I, I didn't mean Duncan. to quote it. I wanted to change it around. No, no, comments have already spoken. Pre it's too late. Well, it is what I'm taking back now. Cancelled for not knowing enough quotes. Whenever I watch Red Letter Media and they complain about the comments, I also relate to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think every person who's ever, like, created something <laughs> Created something and put it into the, the online world. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they know, like, they all feel like, yup, yeah, comments sucked, man, <laughs> yup. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm gonna get pillaged here. I've got barbs in my land. Barbs in my land. I, oh, I, I had barbs stand on some it. improvements and they just didn't pillage them, so maybe you know. No, you watch this. Watch this. They're both gonna pillage this. It's gonna be like this is gonna heal up to like full and this one's gonna get Oh on yeah, my if they damage they're gonna heal up, yeah. I built the Oracle. Oh, of course you built the Oracle, Mr. Buy Everything with 25 Faith. 25% less yeah. faith for great Churn people. Churn out as many great people as you like. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nice. So I just need to get 300 faith together. So how long is that going to take? Two weeks. Seven faith per yeah. turn. So it's quite, quite a long time. But I have to believe in dragons. You know, they both pillaged both my things. I can't believe it. They pillaged my bloody campus. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't, can't believe it. Fucking believe it. Bastards. Hey, guess how much money it takes for me to annex this uh, city state? How much? Uh, 336,875 gold. That's half of what Spiff made last year. Yeah, that's, yeah. Half, that's literally, I can make that in less than a turn, Riffy. What are you complaining about? Easy. Mm. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. That is a lot. This is ridiculous. To, okay. Probably more than you can I, afford. I know what I'm doing. You're right, Duncan. Mm. It is more than I can afford at the moment. Yeah, I'm surprised. I was looking through pantheons and trying to decide, but then I went for River Goddess, because of course. <laughs> Riverlands is called River Run. I have to go River uh, Goddess. Of course. This makes sense, honestly. That does, yeah. I just didn't pick a religion, because us in the Vale are godless people. Makes there sense are seven religions up for grab. So everyone uh, can have a religion. Yeah, you can get a religion. Don't the worry. seven. <gasps> the seven. It makes sense. Seven gods. What's your favorite seven god? Mine's the crone. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Yes. Don't laugh at my choice. It's perfectly fungible. <laughs> it's, it's fine. I didn't use that word correctly. Fungible. Okay, so each of my great works of writing gives me six faith. Which is incredible. Very nice. And two gold. How many have you got? Two so far. Goodness me. Three gold. So now, suddenly, I've realized that I should have been doing this earlier. <laughs> I should have read the other thing about my guy earlier. But, you know, you can't, can't read everything all the time, can you? Christ. No. God, reading really sucks. All right, put down your city. It is called Sir Wynn. Is that a is that a Stark name? Yes. Sure. Doesn't doesn't sound like a normal name. <laughs> hmm. There's no way you're out of Stark names in like two. On or three two after two cities. <laughs> That'd be a bit annoying, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would suck. Sir Wynn. Yeah, that's Sir Wynn's the name of um one of the one of the one of the houses, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Clay Serwin. Yep. House Serwin. It, it is a thing. Yeah. Hooray! Okay. <laughs> Keep building. I like the idea of the Jebel Barkle. Okay? It's a wonder. Yeah. The Jebel Barkle. The, the Jebel Barkle. The Jebel Barkle. If you have an iron mine, you get... If you build an iron mine, you can get build the Jebel Barkle, and it gives you six iron per turn. Great, right? Yeah. But it must Wrong. be built... So, like, if you don't spawn with iron, you obviously can't build an iron mine. 
you might get right. iron working anyway, hard research it, and then it unlocks the Jebel Barkle, and then you can say, oh, I'm, I'm going to build the Jebel Barkles, get some iron, because I don't have any iron, right? Mm. But no, it has to be built on desert hills terrain. <laughs> ah, not great. Not bad. Not great, not yeah. bad. A very- now, tell me, does King's Landing have desert hill terrain? No. Oh. Well, there's a problem. Although in the show, it looked like it was on a desert. For the, yeah. Only for the final season. Only for the yeah, last the, season. The rest of it was Where did fine. the trees go? Yeah.